Hey guys, what's up? This is Tamer from ITT, I Talk Tech, giving you all your latest news, reviews, and how-tos for everything tech. Alright, so today I got a little bored of Mountain Lion, so I started to be a little bit adventurous, and I will put in OS X Mavericks on my um, MacBook Air 13-inch. I want to test it out, see how it is, you know, give it a feel. And if there's one comment I can make for, or one word I would say to describe Mavericks, is that it's awesome. It's amazingly awesome. So the updates that Maverick gives is just a different user interface. It's based on Mountain Lion, but they change the way you interact with the system, the way the system looks, the way you use it. For example, let's start off with the new feature that they added, Maps. So if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you know about Maps and Apple's Maps. Well, as you can see, I have the Statue of Liberty right here. And you see that I can make it a 3D effect because of this button right here. If I turn that off, it's just giving me a hover up of it. Basically, any Google Maps could do that, right? But if I do click it, it gives me that three-dimensional view. that I can be right here, right next to Lady Liberty, right? And I can zoom in on her and see that. Let's give another example of the Empire State Building. Empire State Building. All right, so this is basically what you see on Google Maps, right? Just an overhead view of it, nothing really three-dimensional. I mean, if you go over, over this way like this, you can probably see a little bit right here of three-dimension. But what Apple Maps does, it gives you a different perspective of it. So if I press this, bam, that's a 3D model of the Empire State Building. And I can go around it just by moving the trackpad like that, by moving um, the trackpad um, clockwise or counterclockwise and just giving me this whole perspective they're making they're putting in iOS features into the MacBook into them into their Macs into their Mac OS all right and it's making it much more easier much more enjoyable to use all right so another thing that got updated let me put out of this was calendar as you can see calendar used to have that notebook feel it had to have the stitching right here the binding over here and it would like flip a page when you would go to the next map it would flip a page like that all right but this time is different it's more simplistic it's more elegant it's i don't know how to describe it it's just a better feel it's smooth transitions you can smoothly glide between each different month and then you also have years and you can see all your years like that and you have day by day, you can say what today is going to be, what you need to do today, what's Mother's Day, Memorial Day, what's coming up. All right. So let's quit out of that. Another thing that was updated was Safari. Safari 7.0 comes with Mac OS X Maverick, Mavericks. So if I click here, a different feel. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can get a picture of, Saf of um, how Safari used to look like on Mountain Lion. There's no more of that. I, there's a term for it. I just can't put my finger on it. It's a more smooth and more simple feel. And I can tell you based on using Safari, Safari for a little bit right now, it is more efficient. It is more faster. It is. I like it more than Chrome right now. Chrome used to be my number one browser when I was using Mountain Lion. It would be fast and everything. But now I'm switching to Safari. Safari is amazingly fast. So as you can see, some features that they have on Safari is that you get your top sites right here. So any of the sites you look at, the Apple website, Google.com, YouTube, Amazon. If I quickly want to tap on one, I can just tap on one. Bam, it gives me Google instantly. Another thing is over here, you have share. So you can add this to your reading list, bookmark. You can email this page if you have mail um, set up in your Mac. You have messages. You can message this to somebody. Airdrop, that's one of the newest things. If you click on Airdrop, any device that you have nearby, such as your iPad, your iPhone, you can airdrop this so that they can see it. So for example, if I had an article or I had a YouTube video for iTalk Tech, all right, and I wanted to show it to my friends, all right, so I would just easily, and they were in the same um, room as me and using the same internet connection, I could just easily airdrop it to them and they could they would see it without having to come to me to my Mac and to see it. So that's really useful. Alright, so let's quit out of Safari right here. 
another thing is just the overall performance. Like if I go into Launchpad right now, all right. So look at that, and I'm gonna exit out of it again. You see how fast it is? It was lightning quick. Like you don't even get it. It, it takes half than a second just to load it. I'm probably or an overstatement. I mean, an overstatement. But this is fast. The only thing I'm gonna talk about is that I see a little bit of lag when I'm switching through pages between Launchpad. So if I switch to the next page, you see it's not as smooth, it's not as lightning smooth. I'm trying to flick it as fast as I can. It's kind of slower. It would not compare to the lightning smooth of when you go in like that or you're going like that. It's not as smooth as that. It just a little bit it takes a little, more, little bit more time. I think I'd like it even more if they just made it super fast or just like instantly, just like they do with like that. That could be an, a bug. It could be something they're going to fix in the upcoming releases such as um, Beta 5. For Mac OS Mavericks, I don't know, but I hope they do. Another thing is, if you click on your um, account right here, you have you can easily see who all the other accounts on your um, Mac. So, for example, I have mine right here, and I have a guest user right here. It's just a little bit more elegant. You get your you get both users right here, and then you get a little, nice little picture, and then you get a check mark explaining um, a green check mark explaining which account you're under. You can easily switch between one. You don't have to log out. Of yourself and then sign in back again you can easily just switch into it and one of the things Apple's trying to do with their Macs is make them become more power efficient I think Mavericks is the best at being power efficient it's the power and the power efficiency that makes it such a great um, operating system so one of the newest um, features that it has is called app nap so if you open activity monitor right here as you can see right here it says app nap and it shows you all your running things and it shows you whether it's app running app nap or not so as you can see as I told you before I exit out of the Chrome but it's still running here what app nap what app nap does is that it realizes what applications you're using what applications and you're not using and it puts it to sleep basically and uses less energy so it's basically putting that application to sleep so when you're doing multitasking, you have a bunch of windows open and stuff like that. You're using a lot of processing power. You're putting a lot of memory into those applications. But in Mavericks, it figures out which applications you're using right now and which ones you're not. And the ones that are you aren't using, it's going to put it to sleep. All right? So for example, I'm running ScreenFlow right now to record this. It's putting screen, ScreenFlow on AppNet because I'm not using the user interface for ScreenFlow right now. I'm not editing videos on it right now, so it can go back to sleep. Google Chrome, I was just using it, then I canceled out of it. I still have it open. As you can see, there's a line right here under it showing that I still have it open, but I'm not currently using it right now. So it's not gonna, so it's gonna put it to sleep until I reopen it back again. And if I reopen it back again, it puts it um, out of sleep and as you can see app nap no all right and also finder because I it's on sleep because I'm not using it right now but if I do click on finder and I open up one of these things it's gonna put it it's gonna put finder um, awake it's gonna wake it up and yeah so that's app nap so that's gonna save you a bunch of battery life you might not have the newest MacBook Air that runs 13 hours of battery life, but if you have a MacBook Pro, an older MacBook Air, all right, this is going to increase your power efficiency. I read an article where it said the AppNet would increase your power efficiency by 50%. I believe that's a big number. I haven't tested it yet on a different machine. I got this today, so I can only review it based on how I'm seeing it right now, and I only have 99% charging. So I can't really give you my opinion on the power efficiency unless I really tested it out. All right. So I'm going to exit out of these. Also, our dashboard has been a little bit changed the design of it. Not the widgets itself. It's just a background. Instead of having that stitching again, it's gonna, it has that little grid, like a coordinate grid, I guess you'd call it. All right. Now, one of the other things that, um, Apple has added in their Mac OS uh, uh, Mavericks is tags. So if I open up Finder right here, I can go down to tags right here. I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray, and I have all tags right here. Alright, so what this does, so let's say I open up, let's 
do text edit. And I'm going to create a new document. And I'm going to write this is a test for Mac OS X Mavericks. Alright, so I'm going to save this and click save. And when I click to save it, it's going to say, what do you want to save it as? The title name, the document name. And it's going to ask you, where do you want to save? iCloud or any folder you have on your computer. Alright, then it's also going to ask you tags. So if you tap on it, you tap on it again, it's going to give you all the possible tags you have. So I'm just going to click blue because I like the color blue. Alright, so I assigned it the tag blue. Alright. So let's say I'm going to organize this and say blue is everything that I used for testing Mac OS X Mavericks. So I'm going to save it into color blue. So I'm just going to exit out of this right here. I'm going to open up Finder. If I go down to my tag section right here, I can click on blue and see that my document that I just made is, a, is attached or is in the section for the blue tags. It has the blue tag. So if I double tap on that, I can open it again. And I can also add it to red or yellow or orange. Or I can see all my tags at the same time. And I can just easily see what's inside my blue, what's inside my gray, what's in green, what's in orange. I can also have important or home or orange. So different tags. And it helps you organize all the files that you have. Very, very nice feature. Very cool feature. Alright guys, sticking with the theme of Finder and the tags and stuff. Also, another thing that they added with um, Finder is now you have Finder tabs. So instead of you need to create a before in Mountain Lion, in order to see another window, you'd have to create another window. So you'd have to double tap this and then or hold it down and you'd have to say new Finder window. It's the only way you could have two windows or see two things at the same time. Well, now in OS X Mavericks, all you do is just press Command T and you get another tab. Just like the tabs you see in Safari, you have another tab. So for example, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna press on my first tab right here, and let's say I'm gonna go to my documents. Or no, I'm gonna go to my tags. Alright, I have that blue tag right here, the one I just made. And let's say I go to the second tab and I say I want to put it in my downloads. I'm gonna open up downloads right here. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is that I have the document right here, but I want to put it in my downloads, all right? So I'm going to just press and hold down this, pick it up, go to my downloads folder, keep holding it there, it's going to open up the tab, and now I can paste my document into this, into the downloads folder without having to open up a separate window just to put it in there. Very convenient, very useful, I like it. Alright guys, this wraps up my overview and review of the Mac OS X Mavericks uh, beta preview. This is the fourth one. Alright guys, so there's more beta, um, betas and previews to come. Alright, this is only a beta. Not everything works as fluid and smooth as you want, but you expect that from a beta. Alright, from a preview version. It's not the full one that ships yet. Alright, but for a beta, I believe this is a really, really stable, good beta. And I think the way that Apple is headed with their Mac OS X is a great way. It's more user-friendly, more aesthetic, I guess I'd call it. Alright guys, please subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget about our iTunes $25 gift card giveaway, alright? Today is August 7th. Now what you have until August 10th to go on my video and to subscribe and to fulfill the giveaway requirements, alright guys? And I'm really happy of how our channel is going right now. I'm really excited. We have about 45 subscribers right now. And each time, every day, two people or three people are subscribing to my channel. And it's making me more happier and happier. And that's not the only giveaway I'm going to be giving out. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving another, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. Alright, now this giveaway is even bigger. Not only one person will win. Five people will win. All right, five people are gonna win a really nice and really neat prize. All you guys need to do is share my videos to your other friends, put put on your Twitter links, put on your Facebook. All right, do whatever you need to do. But once I reach that 100 subscribers, you're gonna expect another giveaway immediately. A really nice giveaway. Five people are gonna win. So please start subscribing. You know, liking, commenting.
sharing this video to other people. All right, guys? All right, this is Tamer. Peace.